we've made it guys We're out here um how's the weather you think it's cold it's all right it's not too bad right it's not too bad we're tired because we barely slept it's like four in the morning in LA but we're out here we're gonna find a place to have some breakfast and kill some time we can't check in till 12 and it's 8 um, so just a couple of hours to spare and then the commute too it's so confusing but thank god for GPS I don't know how people did it before without GPS we got like a super um, breakfast and pancakes can't forget the pancakes good morning friends I just finished doing my last run before the Boston Marathon it was only 20 minutes so it wasn't bad at all I just went around the block I found this like cool um, trail to this big lake that's around here um, and I came back yeah, so I'm gonna get ready because today we're gonna go to the expo, which is so exciting because I'm gonna get my shirt and hopefully I get free stuff. And you know I'm all about that. Yesterday it was exhausting traveling um, from LA to Boston, and we headed over to Westboro, which is where we're staying. And the reason why I'm staying so far out from the city is because the start line is like one um, train stop away. So I wanted to kind of like get to the start line faster I don't mind traveling from the finish line all over here after the race because it'll be done with I don't want to be stressed in the beginning of the race so that's why I chose this location and um, I will show you around but this is someone's house I'm only staying in someone's room I don't want to invade their privacy by showing you guys everything but I will show you the view this is the backyard which is so awesome there's a lot of land here it's nothing like LA where there's buildings all over and if you keep going like that way there's like a big lake I have major mosquito bites like everywhere on my legs I don't know if you can tell from here it's kind of dark in here yesterday when I was meeting the owner of the house it was around 7 and we were in the backyard that view I showed you and my legs started to get so itchy and I can just feel it and, and I was trying so hard not to scratch because I didn't want him to think I'm weird or like I don't know so I was trying so hard not to scratch but I can feel the mosquitoes like biting me and it was like a lot it was just so itchy and like I would scratch here and there because I couldn't really hold it but once we got into the house I was like shit and then I started scratching because it was so itchy and like this morning in the shower I realized they had a massive attack on my leg <laughs> it's always me Everywhere I go, I, I'm always the one that gets bit by the mosquitoes. <laughs> For breakfast, I'm having a bagel and I added some tofurkey, cream cheese, one egg. I'm having a Chobani yogurt and then two of these chocolate donuts that I'm gonna have with my delicious coffee. <laughs> and the adventure begins. So we're here at the Westboro train station we're trying to figure out if we can buy the tickets there because yesterday when we got there it looked super dead and it didn't look like there was any machine which is the tickets but there's an app and i can purchase the tickets through the app <laughs> Officially on Expo Ground. We're gonna go get our fibs. That you keep. No, that you keep. I chose the size small because I thought I was gonna lose weight and I didn't. <laughs> oh. No. 
exchanged my shirt to a medium with pushing and it was affecting my senses <laughs> so we're out it's freaking cold out here by the way it's looking gloomy the rain is coming it's gonna rain tomorrow Sunday and race day Monday so we're gonna try what are we gonna do right now babe we are gonna go get food Wait, we're gonna we got snacks I know dude but this whole bag of free stuff <laughs> came to this place I forgot how it's called that that's the name of it and I got some rice chicken with some sauce and then I forgot how that's called I'm really bad and then potatoes <laughs> what you get I got falafel rice tomato hummus and whatever that is and look at him being all fancy drinking without me he doesn't even drink <laughs> that's the funny part <laughs> we're at the south south what South Station? Yeah. We're at the South Station and we just missed the train and on weekends the train runs every two hours so we have to wait for two hours but this place is pretty cool they have a bunch of um, little shops, coffee shops, restaurants but we already ate so we don't need to buy food there's CBS upstairs so we're just gonna try to kill two hours and then there's two hours of commute so we're gonna be home in four hours <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the free items. <laughs> we got some hummus. I did not get these for free. The noon hydration with a water bottle. That was bad. We got all this yogurt. We got these mu pro probiotics, muffins. You just add water and pop it in the microwave. Some chips and a bunch of protein bars. And we have the organic protein lar bars and I also grabbed these to try out nip ease which is to basically cover your nipples because if you're a runner you know that your nipples <laughs> rub from the sweat and against your clothing and they get irritated and they get kind of you don't want me to tell you I also got these headphones which i'm so excited i tried them on and they feel pretty good and everything but the real test is when i run so what these headphones are they don't go inside your ear they go up next to your ear basically they're good for running or for other activities where you want to hear your surroundings but you also want to listen to music so this is good for running biking and other stuff i guess and over here i have some Boston gear. I have this Boston backpack, my Boston shirt that was given to me for the marathon. Oh no, it's already like messed up. Whatever. I also have this hat and the official celebration jacket, which is so cool. 